my wife just walked in with uh, some some lunch for me. Awkward. Um, this is awkward. It's only Jamie. Um, I'll, I'll have it. Thank Hi, you. Hi, Lana. Hi, Jamie. Okay. Uh, only one boy, though. <laughs> Look at this. Look at Whoa, that hello. Hello. How's your day going? Well, actually, yeah. Um, You're on top of it again now. I think sort of finished so, the day yesterday. I've got feeling. a lot to do still, though. I've got um, quarter reviews tomorrow. I'm trying to get that mattress out because it's annoying. Oh, I like the mattress. I think I think we should shoot from the mattress. I don't know. What? Well, um, you know, you're changing one of the platforms that you use. Yeah, we're changing the sauna. Yeah. When we started looking into the sauna and how it was set up, we realised that we were, we were set up on the wrong uh, like level or access. We've changed um, access now with the platform that's got sorted here. And now we've got like all the teams, portfolios, so you can see which one's linked to a client, gives you way more data. Um, it should be loads better. Hello. How are you? Good, thank you. How are you? Very well. Is this our date? It's our little date. I made an effort. <laughs> uh -huh. You, uh, when was the last time you've been on a proper date, mate? Um, like a first time date about uh, 13 years ago. <laughs> so it's been a while. I'm a bit rusty, but you yeah. know, I still think I've got it. <laughs> Are you, uh, <laughs> you wish you were in RV for me? I do wish I was in RV for. I've come to the realization that my holiday this year is not going to be happening, so I'm pretending. Uh, Tighten stuff here, RV. Uh, Swindle Stats is back. So talking about organic versus paid reach today, uh, I know you're the content queen, so is organic reach dead? No! Since um, really kind of pushing on a budget and getting a lot of video content out there since lockdown, it's just mm. proven to me the fact that it's just not the case. Like, as long as the content that you're pushing is good quality and um, you know, you're creating the content that your audience wants to see, you're doing it consistently, you're listening to what Facebook wants. It's definitely not dead. But it's about like, it's got there's not one case. tool to run the business anymore. What do you use Salesforce? Salesforce is, you know, it's a great tool, but it's bloody expensive, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? It's not like a cheap thing to do. It takes ages to onboard. And... Mm. So I think we're better off dealing with what we are doing, what we've got at the minute, which is like, you see you've got zero for accounting, you've got pipe drive for sales, you've got Asana for project management, and you've got Slack for comms, and then, you know, Gmail for our email thing, but um, they're the sort of four that I want to grab yeah. the data out of, and then all the social platforms around the edge of it. Yeah. The reason I'm doing this also visually is because Steve's going to vision, visualise all of that, and then it gives me this, like, engine room that I can see everything on. Hey, babe. Hi. You fit? Yeah, I am. <laughs> We're in love, Jamie. <laughs> soppy sausages. The soppy sausages. That's for this. No. We like your new hair. Thanks. Very nice. Don't put this in, Jamie. You've got to put it in, Jamie. <laughs> right. So, what do you think has been the biggest factor for the person you are today? Oh, this this could be emotional, Jamie. You've gone you've gone deep on a first date, but yeah, I, I've, I'm going to say definitely my upbringing. You know, we didn't we didn't have um, a lot of money. But my mum was, um, you know, proper grafter. She'd do anything she could to, you know, to, to try and get us, you know, the best things and stuff. So it would probably be my mum ingraining like a great work ethic into me. I've always been a grafter. I've always worked hard. I'm not shy of hard work. Um, I've had some really like tough jobs because I've always been told to work. No matter what, you have to go to work. Um, and, and that set me up for life really. So definitely, um, the, the biggest thing that I could say to my success is definitely the way I was brought up by my mum. How much of an increase did you see when you went started posting videos on the Honor Budget page? Just before lockdown, I think we were on 515,000 and a few days ago we went over the 600,000 mark. So we have had page strategy behind that, but that's organic as well and it's organic from posting on the page and it's organic reach off the back of the ads as well, yeah. which I think a lot of forget about do you think they're a fair comparison then like comparing organic to, 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 to spend what what where did that comparison ever come from 
organic, you do have to kind of approach it in a different way to what you did, would do with paid. And I think with paid, like a lot of people will use that, you know, just purely to get as many link clicks or as many people on their website or, um, and it can be more corporate in that sense. But with organic, you have to be creative, like the content that you're pushing, it has to be able to, you know, serve itself. That's the whole point of it. It needs to be relatable enough to your audience that they'll do all the hard work for you in terms of, uh, in terms of distributing it. What do you think is better, paid social versus organic reach? Paid yeah. social versus organic reach? Yeah. That is definitely not a date question, young man. For me, like, you know, organic is, is definitely the way forward. I'd, I'd always take organic over paid. It doesn't mean I, um, I don't value paid, um, <laughs> but I just think that natural um, engagement is, is just worth more, isn't it? That's how we create our content, isn't it? We create all of our content um, around the audience and what we think they're gonna, mm. gonna react with, they're gonna share, they're gonna engage with, not paying to put it in front of an audience. That doesn't mean you can't create good content um, and put it in front of people through, through a paid strategy. Mm. Yeah, but I would always, you know, go for organic over paid any day. I'm aware you probably don't have this stat in front of you, but have we seen an increase in organic reach since lockdown? I know the stat for on a budget is just like mental numbers though. Like it's yeah. in the thousands um, in terms of percentage increase. Yeah. Um, on the obviously isn't at that point. However, I feel like we have gone down the right route with the content from the tools. So like, to be fair, talking about that, the live that we did today, that talking trade video, mm. um, it, it's done amazingly well. Like it was around a thousand viewers consistently, like paragraphs of engagement again. Um, and when the live had finished, after like kind of like about 20 minutes after the live had finished, um, it was already at around like 40,000 viewers. And it's got like an average watch time of around about 10 seconds, where usually on live it's about two. Sorry, I'm on, I'm on a date. My wife's just walked in with uh, some, some lunch for me. Awkward. Um, this is awkward. It's only Jamie. Um, I'll, I'll have it. Thank Hi, you. Hi, Lana. Hi, Jamie. Okay. Uh, only one boy, though. <laughs> Look at this. Look at Whoa, that hello. Uh, but this has been amazing, Jamie. Oh, thank you. Good. Thank you. Um, I will uh, really appreciate you coming on my date with me. Uh, I've learned a lot about you. Uh, I hope you're doing well. I hope to see you soon. Um, uh, yeah, thank you. Thanks, mate. I appreciate it. Bye. Not, <laughs> not, not, not shorts on. Oh, God. Man.